Well, hello there and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, write your own context manager in Python. Basically, a uh, context manager is a very powerful concept. With a context manager, you can uh, simplify common tasks, like uh, when you have a, a file in which you want to write, you have to make sure that you open that file, you write what you want to write, and then close that file. And with the context manager, you can simplify the opening and closing of the file. So in the meanwhile, all you have to do is take care of what you want to write to that file. And this is what I'm going to show you. So there are basically two ways to achieve that. The first one is to import from the context lib module the context manager function that's it. and all you have to do is decorate your own custom local function with the context manager and you can say that you want to create a function which is going to be called custom block and this is going to take an arbitrary number of arguments and let's see how a context manager is looking like behind the scenes so this is the start of the context Accept and the final block here. At least this is how I do this context management stuff. And I am going to say, but just try it first. And this is the try block. is the final block <clears throat> and this is the end of the block and if we say now that we save this file and call it custom context then we could call this context manager this way index.txt let's say we open it with the add and as custom file and custom file As you can see, we have the start of the context manager, the time block, the finally block, and the end of the block. And what we need to do is to be able to write this as a custom file is delete this one here. I'm going to create my file, which will, ah, uh, no, let's say, first I want to know which arguments are best. So I have an index and a, an A as an argument. So what I can do is pass this to the open function so we can open the index file with the append 
<coughs> option and we can start writing our file. So my file write custom header to mark the start of execution yield my file it pass and finally my file close is going to be called but first I'm going to write that custom footer to more end of the execution. <coughs> Let's delete this one. And this too. Save it. And run it again. CLS. Oh, it got created. So this is how it looks at the moment. This is because there is no default appending of the new line character at the end of the writes. So what I'm going to do is add it here. New line. New line. Cool, this is the header, this is the this is going to fail part and this is a custom footer to mark the execution. And this was also done here. And uh, let's empty it again. And oh yeah. And it's working. So now every time I write something here to the file, it gets automatically added to my file, which is opened this way. And there is always a header and footer. So what we can do to make this more, let's say, real, is to create some shebangs and stuff like that. Let's say this is the date. Basically, this is how you can create your own context manager if you want to create it as a, a function. And all you need to do is decorate it with the imported function from the context module and, and it should work. And if you want to do the same thing with a class, then it's a bit more tricky, but you basically have to remember two things. So the class is a custom logger and it's coming from an object. We will have an init function which gets the self, the file and the mode. And self that mode is going to be equal to the past mode. Self that file is going to be equal to the file. 
fast and we need an enter function and an exit function. In the enter function we are going to need to open the file and return the file handle for the context management. So basically all we will do is self open file equals to open self dot file with self dot mode and return self dot open file and in the exit we are going to need to hmm, let's say self open file close and basically that's all after this with custom logger custom logger from class just to keep it short and simple we did append as from class and from plus the right. This is coming from us. And that's it. So try to run it. Hmm. Who would have thought? And this is working. So basically what you could do if you create this custom logger class is to make it, let's say, a singleton object to protect the file, the same file from being logged by too many different processes, or you could customize it the same way. So <clears throat> here we have this date time, we are going to reuse it and say self.openfile.write. And this is going to be the start date and self dot open file right and date. I'm going to save it and run it. And now as you can see here we have our different approach to this custom logger. <coughs> now let me empty it, save it. And cool. So it, it's working as it's supposed to. And all that is missing is this new line character. It. and voila it's working so basically this is what i wanted to show you i hope you liked it i'm going to upload the source code to github and leave a like and comment thank you for watching bye